Welcome to your week two abs blast class brought to you on behalf of the Exercise Lounge in Banbury. My name's Leanne and I'm going to be taking you through this 30 minute workout. So what to expect from this one? Uh, we've got a warm up and a quick cool down and stretch at the end and there are lots of planks. Planks are awesome integrated exercises for your core but they're also going to be using the strength of the upper body and the legs as well. You can do this on your knees or on your toes if you wish. So uh, we're going to break this up into three exercises, making up a block of exercises, and each block will be repeated three times. There's a short period of rest in between each one, but as we work through the exercises, the rest periods and the working periods change, so watch out for that. Let's begin with our warm-up, and we're going to start lying on our backs. So we'll progress this exercise gradually. We're going to do five repetitions of each exercise. And like I said here, lying on our backs, we're going to be crunching up, reaching towards our heels. So bend your knees, just five, reach up and crunch. Now if you want to work this a little bit quicker, a little bit slower, you can do that too. You're looking up between your knees as you reach. And after five, you're then going to bring your knees up above your hips, bending the knees and reach towards your ankles for five and four and three, two and one. Then straighten your legs and reach up towards your toes for five and four, then three, two, and one. Rebend your knees, come back into a tabletop position, five here, reaching towards the ankles. Three, two, and one. Place the feet down, reach towards your heels for five, four, three, two, and one. Lay your head on the ground, curl your tailbone, Lift it up towards the ceiling, take an opening at the front of the body, a nice quick stretch here as you use your glutes, stretching out your hip flexors and your abdominal muscles, curling yourself back down towards the ground, and we'll go again. Five, reaching towards the heels. Four, three, two, and one. Bend the knees up above your hips, reach towards your ankles. Five, four, three, two, and one. Extend your legs, reach up towards your toes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rebend your knees, reach towards the heels. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lay the feet down, reaching towards the feet for five, nearly there. Four, three, two, and one. Lay your head back on the mat, arms down, take another hip bridge, curl your tailbone up, stretching out the front of the body. You can take a little wriggle through the shoulders, pushing into your heels, engaging your glutes, taking a little stretch here as we complete our warm up. Rolling back down towards your mat and a quick full body stretch. Arms and legs extended, big breath in and out. Well done. So, for our first exercise, we're going to be lying on our back, similar to what we did in the warm up. We're going to do these exercises working for 30 seconds and resting for 10. And each time we revisit an exercise, I'll give you the option to make them a little bit more intense. So for our first one, lying down here, we're going to bring the knees back up into a tabletop position, draw the belly button in and down, and then you're going to extend your legs by tapping your toes just one at a time, down towards the mat, and then rebend before you swap. Let's go. One foot down, bring it back up. One foot down and bring it back up, perfect. So a nice gentle single leg, alternating, tapping the toes lightly to your mat and bringing them back up. Good, we're already halfway, 15 seconds to go. Let the focus be the belly button pulling in and down so that your lower back is anchored in towards your mat. Less than 10 seconds to go, looking good. We're gonna flip over to our fronts for a straight arm plank next. So your shoulders are gonna be above your wrists. So let's roll it round. And we're just going to hold to begin with, placing your hands on the mat, you can do this on your knees if you need to, straight legs if you can, push away and hold. And here, let's see if we can lift the chest away from the ground so we're not allowing the shoulders to sink down between the arms. Equally, the hips are about the same height as the uh, shoulders or a little bit lower if you need to. So up here if you can, not up here, <laughs> let's have those legs working, strong and engaged. Good, well done, 10 seconds, keep pushing the ground away. Draw the tailbone down towards your heels, thighs engaged, core engaged. We've got four, three, two, and one. Come to sit. 
You're going to be bending your knees, having the toes lightly on the mat. Lift up tall, take a slight lean back, and making your fist, we're going to rush and twist side to side. So take one elbow and shoulder behind you, and then swap. Alternate, left to right, and right to left. And as you draw your elbow behind, you'll be using the muscles in the back a little bit, but as you twist, you'll be using the muscles through the core. With a little bit more of a lean back, you'll be working a bit harder. We're already halfway, side to side. Elbow back as you rotate. Good. Five seconds. And then we start all over again. Three, two, one. Well done. Lie back on your back. Bend in the knees. This time, your single toe taps can become switch toe taps. So as one comes down, the other comes up. Let's go. 30 seconds. Again, glue the lower back down in towards the mat. There's your focus. Firm, flat, lower back. Hands can be by your side, or if you prefer, up by your temples. Swapping the legs, tapping the toes lightly. One down, one up. Good, halfway, 15 seconds to go. If this feels a little bit too easy, you can take the knees further away from the hips. They don't come over the hips, they stay a little bit further away to keep a little bit more engagement through the core. Three, two, one. Into your plank, with the option to add shoulder taps this time. So opposite hand to shoulder, one at a time, nice and slow. Ready, let's go. If you're taking the shoulder tap option, I'd recommend stepping your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart for added stability. Otherwise, if your hips are too, or your feet are too narrow, your hips will roll. So a little bit wider as you push into the ground with your base hand, lift the other one, tap the shoulder. Good, well done. Just over 10 seconds to go. We've got Russian twist next with the option to hover your feet off the mat. We've got three, two, and one. Come to sit. So like we did before, with the added option this time, instead of your toes staying on the ground, you can hover them up off the floor. We're gonna twist side to side. And here we go. Left to right, and right to left. Remember that added lean back is what's gonna give you the added intensity through your core. If this starts to become a bit much, set the feet down, keep twisting, and keep a little lean back behind you. Just over 10 seconds to go. And then we start again, side to side, just over five, four, three, two, and one. Lay yourself down, toe taps for the last time. Now you've got the option, you remember you've got single time, or switching your legs, or double, all right? Double is your third option. So both legs together, lower down, tap the ground, come back up, knees in line with the hips. Lower, and lift. Perfect. So if this is a bit much, come back to switching one leg at a time, or even single legs, one down, and then return it back up. Perfect, just over 10 seconds to go. Lower back glued in towards your mat. We've got our shoulder taps in plank next for our next exercise. Three, two, one. Well done, hands behind the knees. Roll yourself up into your plank position. Remember the legs a little bit wider than hip distance apart, on the knees if you need to. Three, Two, let's go. Tap, reset, tap, reset. Good, well done. That's it. So the speed is up to you. If you wanna work quicker and it still allows you to stay stable, do that. If you prefer slower and more control, you can do that too. It's entirely up to you how fast you're working, just as long as you feel like you're safe and secure. Less than 10 seconds to go. Tap, release, and reset. Good, three, two, and one. Last round of Russian twists. Come back onto your bum, sit up tall, take a quick breath before we lean, pick up the knees, and row side to side. And go. Left to right, and right to left. Excellent. This will bring us to the end of our first block. We've then got three new exercises to go. Slightly longer working time by five seconds, but slightly longer resting time by five seconds as well. Halfway. Lean back a little further if you can. Keep the feet off the ground if you can. Set them down if you need to. We're nearly there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, well done. Lift up really tall. Stretch the front of the body. And you can take some movements here like a seated cat and cow. Rounding, arching, rounding, arching. Okay, so we've got for our next exercise, we're coming back into a tabletop position. And this time, instead of tapping the toes down, 
we're going to extend the leg and look for the heel to be lowering down. We'll start with a single leg version. So when you're ready, lie yourself down, lower back, anchor in towards your mat, knees above the hips, and you extend one leg before you bring it back up. Extend the other one and bring it back up. If you find the lower back is starting to lift, instead of bringing your heel down towards the ground, kick the leg out on about a 45 degree angle instead. Kick away and up. If the lower back feels strong against the ground, you can send the leg a little bit lower. Good. So we let the movement come from the hip, the knee straightens, long leg, return. Awesome. In five seconds, we've got a forearm plank. So we're gonna make a fist with the hands and a triangle between the fist and the elbows. Flip yourself around. So let's get our position set. Remember, bent knees if you need to, straight legs if you can. And we're just gonna hold our plank for round one. Three, two, one, let's go. Long line with the body from the shoulders through to the hips and into the heels, drawing the tailbone down towards your heels and pushing the ground away so that you feel strong and lifted through the body rather than sinking through the shoulders. Good, 20 seconds to go. Extend the back of the neck, looking down towards your thumbs. Keep pushing the ground away. Well done. 10 seconds to go. Really good, really good. We've got a reaching C crunch next. We start with the feet on the ground and the fingertips of the temples. Three, two, one. Flip yourself around. So feet down, fingertips to temples to begin with. And as you crunch, not only are you gonna lift head, neck and shoulders, you're gonna lift your feet and reach towards your calves before you reset. So arms and legs in play, 35 seconds. Reach, reset, reach and reset. Good. So let the movement and the crunch come from your core rather than your knees sneaking closer in towards your chest. See if you can keep them about hip height, letting your hands reach towards your calves. Reach and down. 10 seconds to go. Breathe out as you lift. Breathe in as you come back. Nearly there. Three, two, and one. Awesome. So we're gonna stay here, ready for our leg extensions. This time, instead of swapping one leg at a time, we're gonna switch. One down, one up. All right, remember lower back glued against the mat. If you find it's lifting, kick your leg on the diagonal line. Here we go. Kick away, reset. Kick away. Good. So lower the leg as much as your lower back feels firm and secure against the ground. It'll help also to think about tilting your tailbone up towards your knees, just to get that extra bit of pelvic tilt to help anchor the lower back. Nice, we're over halfway. Just over 10 seconds to go. 10 from now, lower and lower. Good, well done. Forearm plank next with the option to walk your feet in and out to add a bit of extra intensity. Well done, flip it round. So remember you can do this on the knees if you need to. You're gonna make that triangle between your fists and your elbows, line them up. When you're ready, let's find your forearm plank, stepping the legs out, hold and hop nice and low. And then from there, the option is to step one foot out, tap the toes, bring it back in. Other side, taps out, hand down. So one leg steps, one leg comes out. If you prefer just to keep the legs in position and hold your plank again, you can absolutely do that. Long through the back of the neck, looking down towards your thumbs, step out and in, you're over halfway. Good, well done. You've got this, 10 seconds to go now. Tap, reset, tap, reset. So reaching C crunch next, starting with the fingertips of the temples and the feet on the floor. Flip it around. And then as you reach, remember the knees coming over the hips and your hands reaching down your calves. Bend the knees, take a big breath. On the bell, we reach. So the knees come up and reach the hands towards the feet. Lift and up. If you want to intensify this one, keep the feet off the mat. So you lift and the feet just hover down. You'll find that extra bit of tension still through the core rather than the feet resting and the abdominals getting a little break. Of course, it's just an option. If you prefer to have the feet down on the mat, you can do that too. 10 seconds now, reach and up. Reach and up. Fantastic, we're gonna be into our third and final round of these exercises next. 
So we start again with a bent knee into tabletop and extending the legs. The option this time is to extend both legs together. Now what you may find is there's more chance of the lower back lifting. So I'd recommend the legs staying a little bit higher up. The lower they go, the more the lower back is going to lift. So kick away with both, come back. Kick away and come back. The option is still to repeat your switch version one leg at a time or even single leg, kick out, return, swap with the other leg. Double if you can. Halfway now. So lower back squeezes in towards the mat, drawing the belly button in towards the spine, tilting the tailbone towards your knees. That's it, good. Five seconds to go. Forearm plank next. And instead of walking the feet, you've got the option to hover them. So we add a little bit of extra intensity. So as you come into your plank, remember shoulders over the elbows, extend your legs when you're ready. Long, low position. So instead of walking, lift and hover. Here we go. 35 seconds, lift and hover. Good, nice. Still looking for the shoulders to be above the elbows. Zip up tight, lower back firm and flat. That's it, hips in line with the shoulders. 20 seconds to go, if you're coming up to halfway. Long through the back of the neck, don't forget to breathe. Yes, yes, that's it. Just over 10 seconds left now. Last round of our reaching C crunch. Yes, nearly there, nearly there. Step away. Come back, three, two, and one. On to your back, perfect. So, let's bring the knees back over over the chest. Option for double legs, switching the legs, or one at a time as you kick away. Right, lower back glued in, here we go. Extend, return, extend, return. So lower the legs only if that feels super strong in the lower back. It doesn't matter if the legs come up higher. You'll still be working your core muscles because the legs respectfully are heavy. So this is tough even just with one leg at a time or on the diagonal line. 15 seconds, you're over halfway. Kick away, return. That's it, 10 seconds now. Getting closer, getting closer. Kick, extend, come back. And three, two, one. Awesome. Well done. That takes us to the end of our second block. So for block number three, we're going to add five seconds to your working time, but we're going to keep the rest time the same. So 40 seconds of work. Our first exercise is a V-sit kick out. So sit yourselves on your bum, have your feet close to your hips. You're going to take a little lean in towards your hands and then lift your knees up and you're going to kick the legs away and then bring them back up for 40 seconds. Ready? Let's go. Kick, bring back. Kick, bring back. If this is a little bit much, you can do this one leg at a time. And even like I'm doing here, tap the toes down on towards the mat. So this is an option for you here to reduce the intensity if you need to. Your body will open out a little bit and lean back as you extend your legs. That's just to compensate to stay balanced. Light pressure on your hands. Extend, come back, and extend. Good, well done. Just over 10 seconds to go. We've got a commando plank neck. So we're gonna walk from straight arms to forearms and back up again. <laughs> Good luck. Three, two, one. Flip it around. So start with straight arms. Where your hand is, your elbow is gonna come down to that point. You're gonna bring the other elbow down, hand up and straighten. And then switch your lead arms around. So you always alternate. So straight arms, elbow down, other elbow down. Find your first hand, push away, reset. Then change, elbow down, other elbow down, lead hand, and push away. Good, well done, keep going with that. As slow and as controlled as you need it to be. You're already halfway. Remember to swap your lead hand, lower down gently, stable steady hips, and push. 10 seconds to go. We're onto our back for the third exercise. And we're gonna tap our heels by bending side to side. Three, two, and one. Flip it around. So the knees bend generously. Bring your heels close towards your hips. Take a breath in and out. Glue the lower back down. Lift head, neck and shoulders. Look towards your knees. And then you're gonna to reach to the heels by bending the side of the body and reach to the other side. Tilting left to right. 
So if you can, try and keep the knees and the hips fairly firm, that they don't move around too much. And from the front, it'll look like this. So you're bringing the side of your ribs to the side of the hips, squeezing down, coming back up, squeezing down. So fantastic for these muscles here, either side of the waist. Just over 10 seconds to go. Reach, come back, reach, come back. So the hips and knees stay still, looking up between the knees, you're nearly there. Last few seconds, and awesome, we're back to our V-sit. So, this time, we're gonna add 20 seconds of kicking away, and 20 seconds of holding the position. Oh, good. <laughs> Let's bring you back. <laughs> That's about typical, isn't it? All right, we're back in view. <laughs> All right, so as I was saying, 20 seconds of kicking away, 20 seconds of holding your V-sit. Let's go. Kick away, reset, kick away, and sit. <laughs> and it was doing so well for so long. Right, 10 seconds more kicking away, and then we're going to hold. Nearly there. Five, three, and one. Well done. We'll start bent, lift up, roll back the shoulders, tuck your elbows in, and if you're feeling brave, Start to send the legs away. Good, well done. 10 seconds to go. Open out as much as you feel capable of. Nearly there. You got five, four, three, two, one. Good, bend the knees, commando plank. Walking from straight arm plank down towards your forearms and push back up. Remember to change your lead arm. Let's get ready. Enter plank on the knees or on the toes and we Go, straight arms, walk it down, stable and steady at the hips, walk it back up, push away. So on the knees, same thing, elbow lands where the hand was, bring the other elbow down, come back to your lead hand and push away. Remember to swap your lead hand down and down, bring it back, push away. Halfway, 20 seconds to go. So walk as quickly or as slowly as you need to, especially on the way down, control this bit. Land the elbows and come back. Less than 10 seconds. I quite like to lead with the wrist, roll down the forearm, elbow lands, and then we swap. Well done, good, awesome. Heel taps, round number two. So, lie on your back, bring your heels within reach, take a breath, <sighs> lift head, neck and shoulders, looking towards your knees, and reach side to side. Here we go, 40 seconds on the bell. So. Reach beyond the heels if you can, if it's manageable. And I don't just mean by bringing the feet closer towards your hips. I mean by squeezing further and tilting the shoulders to enhance your reach. Coming up to halfway with 20 seconds to go. So reach along the flat part of the foot or towards the toes if you can. Longer range, longer reach, you've got this. Extend those arms, tilt the body side to side, use your strong core, if the head's feeling a little tired, you can take a quick break, come back as soon as you're ready. Three, two, one. Awesome. Swing yourself back up. Last round of V-sets. So same thing. We're going to work for 20 seconds, kicking in and out, and then 20 second hold. Take a breath. Three, two, and one. Your option this time is to take the hands off the mat, so you've got less support for your upper body. You can hold them just in front of the chest, or alongside the legs, whatever works for you. 10 more seconds of kicking out to go. Extend, reset, extend, reset. Well done. Three, two, and one. We hold, start with the knees bent, lift up tall. Find something to focus on and slowly start to extend your legs. Good, you've got this. 10 seconds left. Breathe, breathe, breathe. You'll start to feel that tremor. We're here for five, four, Three, two, and one. Good, well done, bring the knees in. <laughs> Commando plank for the last time. Shake off the shoulders super quick, roll them out. So straight arm plank, walking down to your forearms and returning. On the knees or on the toes. Ready, let's go. Last time, walk down with control and walk it back up. Push the ground away. Change your lead hand. Walk it down with control and push it away. Good, less than 30 seconds to go. You can do this, breathe through it. Push, 
Well done. Walk away. Reset slowly. Push. Awesome. 15 seconds now. Let's get another couple in if you can. Drop to the knees if you need to. 10 seconds left. You can do this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Heel taps for the last time. Roll yourself around. Lie on your back. Shake off the arms. Take a big breath. Bring your heels within reach. When you're ready, lift your head, neck and shoulders. Up and reach. Side to side. Just think about how awesome this is for the muscles on your waist. Left to right, right to left. Remember if the head starts to feel a little tired, release down briefly just for a breath. Come back and rejoin. We're coming up to halfway. 20 seconds to go now. So although this is the end of our third block, I've got two more challenges for you. We're gonna go for a plank hold. I said lots of planks in this one, didn't I? We're just gonna do that for one minute each. You can drop your knees when you need to. You can rest when you need to and rejoin the plank. I'll tell you your time remaining. And reset. So we're gonna start with a straight arm plank. On the knees, like I said, as an option, straight legs if you can. Shake out the shoulders, roll them off, roll them off. All right, let's get ready. Have the hands underneath your shoulders, shoulder distance apart, extend your legs if you're taking that option and hold, one minute challenge. And again, we push the ground away, lifting the chest away from the ground, zip the belly button in and up, long line from your shoulders, through your hips and into your heels. 45 seconds to go, so a quarter of the way done. Drop to the knees when you need to. If you maybe need a quick rest but you don't want to come to the knees, lift your hips up and back and reset back down. This is looking good. 30 seconds now, that puts us at halfway. You have options available to you. Work as long as you can, as hard as you can. Rest when you need to, come back and rejoin. 20 seconds to go. So take those little breaks, reset and push. Planks are amazing exercises. So many parts of the body at work. 10 seconds to go. Come on, let's commit all of us together for these last 10. You've got this. Five, four, three, two, and one, drop the knees back, take a reach forward, relax off your arms, shake the head, shake the shoulders. So for our second challenge, we've got a forearm plank, all right? You can do straight arms if you wish, if that feels a bit more comfortable to you, but otherwise forearms. Let's get ready. Position your hands parallel or into a fist and step back, let's go. One minute here. Now interestingly, a lot of people think a forearm plank is easier than a straight arm plank. Let me tell you it's not. And the reason it's not is because of the angle of the upper body. So the more upright you are, the easier it is. And obviously as we come down to a forearm plank, it's more challenging. Good news is that chat has just taken up 20 seconds. So 40 seconds to go. Remember, drop to the knees if you need to, or briefly lift the hips up, stretch out the shoulders, and then come back to it. 30 seconds puts us at halfway. You've got this. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Extend the back of the neck. Push the elbows in towards your mat, lift through the shoulders, lift through the chest. 20 seconds to go now. Rest when you need to, come back to it as soon as you're ready, and we're all gonna be in it together for the last 10 seconds. Ready, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Push back, bend the knees. Sing back into your hips, come off your shoulders, take a little stretch forward, big breath in, and out. Well done. Let's take a stretch. While we're here, we're gonna roll onto our back, super quick. Like we did right at the beginning, one of our first exercises was a hip bridge. So push your heels into the mat, tilt your tailbone up, lift, 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 feel the front of the body open. So especially after our V-sit kickouts, the hip flexors can get quite tight. The higher you lift your hips, the more you're gonna open them out now. You'll have a little bit of a stretch through the front of the body, but we'll get back into that in a moment. Curl yourself all the way down, and then you're gonna kneel up with your hips over your knees, feet touching, hands into your lower back. Squeeze your elbows together, let your hips shift forward, and as you lift your head and chin, roll back, opening out the front of the body. So again, hip flexor stretch like we did in the hip bridge, but more stretch now for the front of the body as you allow the shoulders to drop back. 
Good, come upright. We'll take a tilt to the side. So slide your right hand down your leg. You can maybe hook it on the back of the calf or touch the ground. Left hand up and over, sending the hips towards the left as you reach to the right. So now we're taking a side stretch, especially after those heel taps. Yeah, that last exercise. Up and over, change sides. Slide the hand down the leg, reaching, send the hips away, long arms. Try and relax the head a little if you can. So the hips are the opposite way to where you are reaching your arm. Good, nice, come in upright. Let's take another round, hands behind the hips. So scoot your hips forward, stay firm through the front, stay firm through the glutes, support your lower back. Lift elbows together, squeeze the shoulder blades together, chin and chest high as you push your hips forward. And one more breath. And come upright. Sit yourself back down. Give yourself a big round of applause. Well done. Thank you so much for your company. So lots of plank work this week. I know. I felt it too. Extra work for the shoulders. Fantastic work through the core. Activity completed. And the legs as well. So if you feel like these muscles are a little bit stiff over the next day or two, come back to these stretches. You've got your hip bridge. You've got your leaning back bend. And then the side bends as well. So this video is going to be safe for you to complete at a time of your convenience. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you again soon. Well done.